Contestant number two, Jeff Landau. Would you like to be a Jersey boy? Would you like to be a Jersey boy? Jeff Landau. Would you like to be a Jersey boy? Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, guests, and dignitaries. When I'm talking about being a Jersey boy, it's not just as easy as being born in New Jersey like I was. You have to earn it. You know, it's funny. When people learn that I'm from New Jersey, I get such funny wisecracks like, hey, what exit? You from Joycey? Or, are you one of the Sopranos? When I'm talking about Jersey Boys, I'm talking about the musical, about Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. And I'm also talking about the characteristics that are emboldened by that play and that musical. Characteristics that help me know what I want to live up to and the kind of person that I want to be and the people that I want to surround myself with. And the first characteristic is persistence. These guys did what it took to make it happen. They changed names many times. They changed band members. And they changed musical styles until they figured out what would work. And that first hit of theirs took them 10 years. That first song was Sherry. You know the song, right? Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to try to hit that note. <laughs> but they did what it took. It would have been easy to quit and just give up and go do something else. But they did what it took to make it happen. And I think about when persistence was important in my life. And you know what? I'm demonstrating it to you right now. Because as long as I can remember, I've been self-conscious about a speech impediment that I have. And I know some of you are thinking, but Jeff, you're such a wonderful speaker. Thank you. <laughs> as early as first grade, I asked to work with a speech therapist. Then again in fifth grade. Then again in ninth grade. Years later, I tried group therapy, speech group therapy. As recently as 10 years ago, I was working with the speech therapist here in Thousand Oaks. And having that self-consciousness about this speech impediment, something that has haunted me my whole life and still does, and something that I work on every day, I still took the chance to join Toastmasters and to practice this speaking skill and to come up on stage and take that chance in front of you. And I'm glad that I stuck with it and I try to get better every day. That second characteristic from the musical, responsibility. Band leader, Tommy, Tommy DeVito, incurred a debt with a loan shark of $150,000. He had a debt to the government, $500,000. I don't know what's worse. <laughs> <laughs> And this is $1960, a lot of money right now. And even though the band wasn't responsible for incurring those debts, they took on those debts and paid them off, which probably saved Tommy's life. And I think about a time in my life when there wasn't responsibility taken. Let me take you back years and years ago, back when I was a junior in high school. OK, longer than that, a long time ago. I was playing baseball for the school team. Last game of the season, away game. I'm on second base. I'm going to third base and I slide. I hit the third baseman's leg and I spin all the way around. Land on my face. Reach out for the base. I was safe. <laughs> I spit out dirt, called time out, and I knew something was wrong with my leg. And I looked up at my coach who happened to be coaching third base and I just wanted some comfort and I didn't get any from him. He said, stand up, and I tried, but it hurt. He asked my teammates to help me off the field. Had one on both arms, 
I hobbled off the field. The coach didn't help me off the field. He didn't check on me on the bench when the inning was over. He didn't help me on the bus when the game was over. He didn't help me off the bus when we got back to school. Didn't help me into the locker room. Didn't check on me in the locker room. When my teammates helped me out of the school and I was hobbling, I walked past his office. He didn't even say anything. You can probably guess he didn't arrange a ride to the hospital for me for x-rays, which showed both bones clearly broken. He didn't take responsibility for his ball player. To this day, I have no idea what he was thinking. But the school took responsibility. Make sure this doesn't happen again. And they fired him a couple days later. The last trait that I'll leave with you is honor. Can you look someone in the eye and seal your word with a handshake? When it looked like the band was going to be breaking up, members Frankie Valley and Bob Gaudio agreed to split any money they earned outside of the band 50-50. And they looked each other in the eye and they shook on it. Little did they know that handshake would be worth millions of dollars. That handshake is in effect almost 50 years later, not one dispute. And that's how good I want my word to be. I've borrowed money from people in the past and have paid them back on time. And my sister Shelly did something for me you can never put in writing. She co-signed on my first car loan for me. And she looked me in the eye and said, brother, you better not screw this up because this is going to affect me. <laughs> I understood. I understood. I took that seriously and paid off that debt. Those are the three character traits that I learned from Jersey Boys. Persistence. Know what you want and don't quit. Responsibility. Own your decisions and your actions. And don't be so quick to point a finger at somebody else. And honor. Honor. Can you seal your word with a handshake? And I ask you again, would you like to be a Jersey boy? Mr. Toastmaster. Woo!